Hello everyone, I'm John. Welcome to Titan Trading. In this video, we're specifically focusing in on brokers that allow for purchases and sale of OTC stocks. Another factor to keep in mind is that this information is current at the time of the making of this video. Any one of these companies could choose to change how and if they handle OTC market transactions. The list isn't exhaustive by any means but you can see some of the most popular and biggest brokers out there on the list. Now to go to these companies and look at the websites for information on how they handle OTC trades can be difficult, if not frustrating. It turns out that many of them do not declare all of the criteria for transactions on the OTC market until you have an account with them. Most of them don't have any fees. Some of them do have fees. The highest TD Ameritrade at $6.95. Others, like interactive brokers, actually charge you a fee per share, which can get rather expensive when you're buying hundreds of thousands or even millions of shares of a subpenny stock. Now, some companies have limitations. They will not let you buy a stock that is under a penny. In other words, no sub penny stocks. While other companies like First Trade have a much higher criteria and you can't buy anything on the OTC market less than 10 cents. Most all brokers sell all the stocks that are available on the open market. Many of these brokers will require you to sign a document that basically states you're aware there is an inherent risk that comes with trading the OTC market stocks. They don't come out and literally tell you this. Once you sign it, you will have access to the OTC market on these brokers. Though regardless of which broker you choose to use, the process for buying or selling an OTC stock is the same amongst all of them. Two key points to keep in mind with OTC stocks. When buying, it must be done with a limit order. A price must be chosen. You cannot purchase an OTC stock with a market order. A market order can be used for selling your stock, but a limit is the only way you can purchase an OTC stock. The OTC market does have activity pre-market after market. However, it's nowhere near the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. The problem is, is that most brokers do not allow private investors to trade the OTC market stocks after or pre-market hours. There are some rare exceptions out there. And for those of you that find them, good for you. I hope this information has been informative and helpful. Be sure to check out our other Titan trading videos for more insights. Cheers and thanks for watching.